Today I'm going to show you what a blower door system is and what it does uh, as far as the energy audit goes and how it can be helpful in diagnosing comfort issues in your home. So blower doors behind me, it's basically a big frame with a cloth over it and a big fan that creates a pressure difference from inside to outside that simulates air leakage on your home. What I'm holding in my hand is the pressure gauge that controls the fan and it also tells me at a certain pressure difference how leaky the house is. So I'm in a house that was built in 2002. It's a two and a half story home. Uh, it was actually originally built to be an affordable housing project and now it's been converted more recently into an Airbnb. The, the second and the third floor have been having a lot of comfort issues in the house. And so I've been called out by the homeowner to diagnose what the issues are. The first test that I'm gonna do is the blower door test to see how leaky the house is. So a house this size should have a air leakage rate on average of about one CFM of air leakage per square foot of total house. So I think this house is probably less than 2000 square feet. I need to verify that with the homeowner, but I'm gonna turn this on and see what kind of air leakage rate we have. And then we're gonna go from there. So what I'm trying to do is get to a pressure difference of 50 pascals of pressure, which is a standard building science measurement. The leakage rate is this number right here, the 3,500 CFM that you see. If this house was 3,500 square feet, that would be an average number, but I think it's less than 2,000 square feet. So this is a pretty leaky home for its size and for the age of construction of the house. I would expect to see a number that's less than 2,000 CFM for a house that was built at this time period and this type of construction. So this tells me we've got a lot of room for improvement and potentially you could reduce the air leakage by half, depending on what we find uh, in the house. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use an infrared camera and go around the house and see where that air leakage is happening and where there might be missing insulation. 